Okay so, I had my debut fight in an EU promotion last week. And here it is. My bad. My I'm bad, sorry. my bad, alright. <laughs> oh, no, you're alright, you're alright. Alright. I'll clear this up one more time. If you were sent, if you were asked for your walkout, that was a message sent to everyone on the card. I send it to everyone. But, oh and here we go. Tomret, as you can see in that corner over there. Coming in against Luroff. Mm. I cannot wait. This is going to be good. Yeah, so we're going to give Tomret some time to recover his ping. I, I feel, I feel, yeah, as... As somebody who's uh, from NA, who's from the NA region and has has to fight on UK servers, it's a bit tough. It's a bit tough. Oh, he can't get out of his stool. It seems like it seems like a fighter played a prank and put some super glue on uh, Tom Red's stool. So <laughs> yeah. it's, it's a bit hard for him to sit up, but we got some help. Uh, Tom Red's able to get up now. Amazing. You know All right. You know what? I think this is a this is a good opportunity to bring the um. Is he here? Oh no, he's not here. Okay, never mind. Let's continue. Let's continue. Alrighty, alrighty. So yeah, we're gonna wait a bit as Free gives the referees instructions. Mm -hmm. I would say this is probably the most anticipated early main card to date in Showtime, as it's literally Tom Rett going up against Luroff. That's all I have to say. Luroff, a, a well-renowned PBC fighter, and Tom Rett, a YouTuber with over 2,000 subscribers. On his mm. YouTube channel, I could understand how this is very, oh, this is very anticipated. I am pretty excited myself Ooh. hearing your descriptions about them. Well, let's see. Ooh, it's ha who has an interesting animation? I would say. Well, let's not get distracted by who. Let's focus on this fight. Round one. Here we go. Tom Red versus Luroff. Luroff seems like he wants to be a bit more aggressive going into this five. Tom Red, good shots from Luroff trying to work that block of Tom Reds, and also great footwork too. Oh, uppercut by Luroff weakens Tom Reds block a little bit. Tom Reds gonna cut some distance to try and recover that block, but Luroff is playing a playing as an effective aggressor in this match, keeping Tom Red on his toes, keeping him pressured, trying to get that ooh. HP advantage. But ooh, Luroff needs to be careful. Here we go, and round I two has started. Two. Great shots from Lur from Luroff and also Tom Red. Tom Red working that block of Luroff. Both fires blocks are broken. This is gonna be a I think we're gonna see a slugfest right here. Oh, oh, oh right. wow. Luroff needs to keep block. it. Luroff needs Luroff to be careful, he's gassed out too. Ooh. Okay. This is showtime for us. Although Luroff is gassed out, he's being the effective aggressor. Both is, uh, the fighters seem to be very tired with his and their block is also broken. Wow, okay. Very interest that was very interesting. Now, although Luroff was gassed out, he was still able to play the role as an effective aggressor and to maintain that HP advantage against against uh, Tom Rett, despite the major disadvantage he was he was early on in the round by being gassed out. Very interesting. It goes to show how dangerous Luroff as is as a fighter, not only defensively, but also in his offense skills. These fights are a lot to take in. Very, very, and but that's what Showtime's three. all about. Showtime Indeed. is about good fights. Indeed. Always high-paced, always... These fighters are always down and determined to Indeed. show... to that's show something. For. That's why we Indeed. strive for. But yeah, ooh, Tom Rett is playing... Is playing now take that role as an effective aggressor. Right. Getting a lot more significant shots on Luroff. Okay. Luroff needs to change up something because now it's not going to be working against Tom Rett. Good shots for both fighters. 
An explosive end to the end of round three. Hmm. You're Ooh, right. These matchups are amazing. Good. Yeah, this this is going very well. I'm so glad that I have had the honor to come to this Showtime event myself. I'm, I mean, I am the fucking founder of this league, but like, <laughs> I'm still yeah, honored. Yeah. To, I'm still honored <laughs> to be here. Like, this shit is crazy to witness in the in the flesh. Like, indeed, indeed. But here we go, round four, ladies and gentlemen. Tom Wright versus Loroff. Now both. And here you go. Like, All right. Now, it seems like Tom Rat's going to be playing the role as a passive fighter. Loroff trying to be the effective aggressor once more. Uppercut from Loroff, dodged by Tom Rat. It, it hey, is. What you it see is. In... Oh, my my bad, my bad. Okay. Oh, no, what you Lorov. notice in these high level fights, they are very defensively sound. And they well, know how to take. I'm right there Ooh, from They're off at um, I, I agree, yeah. <clears throat> now. Now there is a reason about why these why these high profile fights are always play, are always played in like a very defensive game because these these fighters one one these fighters don't want to get knocked down. Is at their peak so that once their defense game is as at their peak performance, they'll be able to utilize it and kind of combine it with their offense to kind of really manipulate how they want this round to go. Mm, yes. Here and here go. goes round five. So All right, nice punches right there from oh, Tom Rapp. Oh, there. big power from there from Loroff. I believe that was a gazelle punch. Big overhand right from uh, Tom Rett, though. That could change the ties of this entire round. 15 seconds will in, we might see a knockdown. Indeed. But will it from Do will these from fighters or Tom Rett? have the skill to knock one of them out? Or knock them down, my oh, bad. Wow. Big uppercut. Tom Red's oh, in trouble. And that's okay, the end of the round. I can, I completely agree because with these high-profile fighters, they don't really need to do much. They just need to show off their skills against one, one each other, and that's enough to entertain us. Exactly. Oh, oh and here we God. go. Good punches from Tom Red trying to break the block of Loroff uh, early on, but Loroff with those with those back and side dodges really making it a hard kind of task for Tom Red. Seems like uh, both fighters are going to try and play, or mainly Lorvas is going to try and play this round more passively. He knows, I think he knows what his position oh! is. Oh! Oh, but another one back. Now this is getting interesting, and that is the end of the fight. Rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards. The judge in charge, Free Makachev, has ruled this bout a majority draw. 57 to 57. Oh, okay. Ooh, this, that's wow. interesting. I did not think this would end in a draw. I, I thought one of these fighters was going to win and one of them was going to lose, but turns out it was a majority draw. Wow. That's very shocking. Yeah, Laura off seems surprised. I would be too, because I did not expect a majority draw. Who would? Wow. We were too mesmerized in the. Let's, let's get a thank you to. Poetry um, of violence I was shown. Can we get a thank you to Tom Rett for coming out tonight and making, uh, making time out of his day to come get himself on a Showtime card? <laughs>